In this video, we'll be looking at some limit theorems. We'll start by assuming that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is l, and the limit as x approaches a of g of x is m. The first limit theorem says that the limit of the sum or difference of two functions is equal to the sum or difference of the limits. On this one, we have the limit of a product and we're told that that's equal to the product of the individual limits. On this one, the limit of a quotient is the quotient of the individual limits. And then on this one, the limit of some scalar k times the function is the same as that scalar k times the limit. So basically we can take this constant out in front of the limit. So let's do a problem. Given the limit of f of x is equal to negative 1 and the limit as x approaches 3 of g of x is equal to 7. And we're asked to find the limit as x approaches 3 of this expression. Now we know from the third limit theorem that the limit of a quotient is the quotient of the limits. So we could rewrite this as limit as x approaches 3 of x plus f of x over the limit as x approaches 3 of g of x minus 2 times f of x. Then we can use the first limit theorem to state that this numerator is the same as the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x. And we'll do the same thing with the denominator. This is the same as the limit as x approaches 3 of g of x minus and then I'm going to go ahead and use the fourth theorem to bring this 2 out in front. So it's 2 times the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x. All right, now let's go ahead and do these. The limit as x approaches 3 of x is just going to be 3 plus, and then the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x, we were told that that's equal to negative 1. In the denominator, the limit as x approaches 3 of g of x is 7 subtract 2 times, and then the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 is negative 1. Now we just need to do the math. In the numerator, we have 3 plus negative 1, which is 2. And in the denominator, we have 7 and then negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. This gives us a final limit of 2 ninths.